Welcome back. The White House fighting back criticism this week after President Obama exerted executive privilege in Operation Fast and Furious. During questioning, White House spokesman Jay Carney tried to blame the entire operation. President Bush, listen. That is really the issue, isn't it? It is how did this operation come about? And it originated uh, in a field office during the previous administration. It was ended under this administration by this attorney general. In the fall 2009, the, the operation Fast and Furious began. The tactic began in the previous administration. Okay, but the operation, you, the, you keep saying. Okay, but the, 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 this, the tactic began in the previous administration, and it was ended under this one. Joining us now is his reaction is Texas Congressman Louis Gohmert. Congressman, thanks so much for coming in this morning. morning. Always great to be here. I don't understand the distinction that Jay Carney, the press secretary, there was trying to make. The tactic was started under the Bush administration. The operation was started under this administration. What is that? Well, just like in prior segment, the president said he wants bottom up and he gave us belly up. Here he says he wants transparency and they've done everything they can to cloud the issue. There was a program previously that would promote a controlled sale of guns where they monitored the sale and they were supposed to move in on these guys and catch them before they got away. Well, some of them got away and took guns with them. That is a totally different tactic from this administration deciding we are going to sell thousands of guns and require and, and let them go. We're not going to follow them completely But they didn't plan to not follow them. Wasn't that the botched part of this? That was under the Bush administration it was botched. Under this administration, they never intended to have a controlled sale. That was the problem. And one of the gun store owners got paranoid. He, he thought nobody will ever believe they're telling me to sell these to criminals. And, and because th this administration in March of 2009 said the president has directed us to follow guns and, and trace them and find out where they came from, where they're going and going after gun store owners. So he taped them. Yeah. And this inspector general that the AG is so reliant on to give us an objective uh, report got the uh, tape and gave it to the agent that was taped. That's not an inspector general report. It's not transparent. It's not the way it's supposed to be done. At issue now is, of course, this contempt vote, which we may see later this week against Attorney yep. General Eric Holder and whether or not we actually see that or not. Nancy Pelosi, though, is saying that this whole contempt vote is really just to distract from voter suppression issues. Listen to Nancy Pelosi. Don't forget, they're going after Eric Holder because he is supporting measures to overturn these voter suppression initiatives in the states. This is no accident. It is no coincidence. It is a plan on the part of the Republicans. So all politics, what he's attempting to do down in Florida and other areas, that's the whole issue here. It has nothing to do with Fast and Furious. It's all about voter suppression. Well, and you need to cut her some slack. She doesn't read bills before we pass them, waits till we pass them to find out what's in them. Some of us want to get to the bottom of it before we take action. And those of us that have really looked into this have found this administration has known about it. They're sitting on documents. This is not about uh, voter suppression. And by the way, every time there have been voter ID, uh, photo ID required, the voting went up by minorities, so she's off on that now, as well. Now, the, the fact critical. that the president has now exerted the executive privilege, how do you think that's going to affect this investigation? It shocked me, because like Dick Morris has said on Fox numerous times, uh, he's insulated from Fast and Furious. This doesn't affect, as soon as he claimed fa uh, this was, uh, had an executive privilege, he just brought that into the White House. Hmm. So it opens up a whole other can of worms. Well, and that. that will bring about a civil suit that we will file in federal court in D.C. and demand that they produce a log of all the documents they're claiming are privileged. As a judge, I reviewed things like that in camera, and you determine what is privileged and what isn't, and be anything that's privileged here. But now they're going to end up having to produce yeah. the log that they say is, is privileged. Uh, Congressman, we're out of time, and we can dive more into this, and we will with you. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Representative Louis Gomer from Texas. Thanks so much for being here. So great in. to be with you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Congressman. All right, next, there are.